My name is Moredi Samuel. I'm an artist based in Nairobi, Kenya, working from the Karim Village Studios. Uh, I became an artist because I was inspired when I was still young by my uncle. Uh, he painted a quite captivating painting of a young child, and I saw it when I was still a child, and it really brought up the lights in me. So I wanted to create works that will inspire other people, works that will connect with other people. Uh, I studied in, Nero in Kenyatta University, uh, right here in Nairobi, and I took fine art, uh, majoring in painting, ceramics, and graphic design. So I decided on being a painter. The subjects, that, the subject that gave me energy uh, and inspired me at local scenery, local people, local still lives. I love painting my local reality. So in my paintings, you'll see a lot of local people. If, like the piece you've just seen is a piece of uh, a lady that I saw dance at the hub, current village. The next piece is a piece of my uncle milking the cow. It's called mother and child. And uh, the cows there, you know, they don't release milk unless the, mother, the, the cow is around. So I found that a bit fascinating. And I really like capturing what I experience when I go on my trips. And the last one is one of my neighbor washing her clothes and the family's clothes. So uh, I also do a lot of still lives. And my still lives are a reflection of the human condition. How we all grow old, how we get dense and develop character over time. So I really connect with still lives. They also remind me of my grandfather. I used to have a pigeon for for dream that really uh, made my evenings uh, really memorable. The art community in Nairobi is very interesting. It revolves around a lot of uh, studios, galleries, sometimes hotels and uh, malls, like the village market, uh, hotels like Tamarind. Uh, we have a lot of good galleries, like one of Sakolat. Uh, we have the National Museum. It's quite a vibrant scene, plus Nairobi does have a culture that makes it a very interesting place to do uh, paintings. Because we have uh, the Matak culture, we have the street food culture that we have in the evenings. Uh, you can't get any sweeter chapati than the chapati in Nairobi. And these things that get uh, Kenyans excited, the things that we paint about, I do have a painting about chapati, by the way. Uh, I think it's a very vibrant place to be as an artist. It's a very vibrant place to be as a person because the people are also as colorful as the culture. My artistic ambition is to create works that connect and move people. I want to create works that reside with people, works that uh, people can uh, grow old with and uh, relate with and work that will outlast me as a person. Timeless works, you can say. I do it hard to be a little famous as well. So that's what I'm aiming for when I paint works that are compelling.